they're able to justify their cheating. Now, uh, this particular person will say the reason why I cheated is because of a lack of sex. It's because a yeah. lack of growth that I'm seeing inside of you. Mm -hmm. It is a lack of attention that you that you give me. You, you're never around. You never give me enough attention. You never give me enough affection. We're never as uh, sexual uh, sexually involved as, as I would like. And because of that, I now begin to look outside mm. to get from someone else what you're not providing me with. And this speaks to the marital void, right? When there's a void in the relationship that's not being met, rather than dealing with it and having conversations about about it, you venture off. And so what happens is this can create an insecurity in uh, the betrayed spouse because mm -hmm. now they feel like, well, I guess I got to do so so much more to keep my spouse. I yeah. got to have more sex. I got to cook better meals. I got to give them more attention because somehow I am not enough. Especially if, if the offending partner blames you, mm -hmm. you know, like it's it's like, you know, if it's because there wasn't enough sex, if there wasn't enough growth in the marriage, if it was because I'm not getting enough attention and that's what you're telling me right now, I'm like, okay, like mm -hmm. I said, it's, it must be my fault. I wasn't enough. I'm, and then you start comparing yourself to everybody else like how many times am I supposed to be having sex what growth should I be doing right because they're blaming you so it's interesting because at the end of the day you can find a thousand reasons to yeah. justify your bad behavior absolutely